Hello storage fans, I'm the PC Expert Amateur and this one's going to be a little bit different because this is about an unbranded portable SSD that is supposed to be 4 terabytes. Now, I saw this on Tamo. You can find these on Amazon, on A AliExpress, on a Newegg, on many different places that allow third-party vendors to sell on their platform. And that means that because the product is being provided by relatively unknown companies both in the US and overseas, especially China, they don't know if the company that's providing the products and selling them on their platform are legitimate or scammers. This one was an easy, easy bet that it was a scam because well, sure, you can buy a portable SSD that is four terabytes, and you can buy one that is an M2 SSD, and you can even buy one that's an M.2 NVMe PCIe, the whole works. That's four terabytes and USB 3.1 Type C, but for $27? No way. Not in this country, not even from AliExpress and Temu. Okay, it just, it's not possible. Now, if you were really, really lucky and some company in Asia, probably in China, because Temu is a Chinese company, uh, would maybe, maybe sell it for like 150 perhaps, but t to sell this for $27, I knew right away that this was a scam. And it's not an accident, there's no brand on here. So this is supposed to actually be, now this is very important. And so you see up here, there's actually a model number, SHL R320. And then down here, it says portable SSD hard drive enclosure. Well, I'm sorry. It's a little bit of a contradiction because hard drive enclosure, no. There's no hard drive that would fit in this thing. This is an SSD enclosure, but apparently whoever made this doesn't understand that. And then you see a sticker that says 4TB-25DAI. That is the lie. That, so what has happened is, is somebody bought a bunch of these enclosures and then bought a bunch of special cards that they could put in here that would make you think you were getting an SSD but costs a mere fraction of the selling price. Now what they could have done is they could have sold these for $100 each and gotten a lot bigger profit, but since mostly they're scams, it's probably an easier bet to go for the lower price. But you can find them at higher prices. And, it, and of course, it does come with the cable for this so that you can connect it up. But this is not important, okay? That would have come with the enclosures when they bought them. Now, it was quite difficult to get this thing open. I'm not sure how much of it was uh, friction and how much of it was the glue that they used. But you push on this end, and then you're gonna also, I also had to pry it on this end to finally get it out. But get it out, I did. And you can see this is not an SSD. What this is, is this is an, a micro SD card and it can hold not one, but two micro SD cards. Now, you're saying to yourself, but Glenn, surely there's a four terabyte micro SD card out there. Well, I don't think so. But even if there were, which is highly unlikely, the chances of them being able to buy it so cheaply that they could sell this whole thing for for um, $27 when the cheapest one that I can find here in the US is about $200 for four terabytes. And um, well, it's just, it's not possible. So there is an unmarked SSD in here and it is some kind of an SSD, but it's not normal. Now, I don't know if these are manufactured this way or this is something that uh, the seller did themselves. My guess is probably these SSD, sorry, 
<coughs> not SSDs, these micro SD cards are manufactured to make you believe you've got a four terabyte SSD in, in here. But as we can see, other than the light here and the light here and the one micro SD card here, there's really very little else in there. So I did take the micro SD card out and I tried plugging the, the assembly in. Nothing happened. It wasn't registered by the um, operating system that I'm using because the micro SD card wasn't in. Plug it back in. There it is. And it says four terabytes. Well, 3.81, I believe, was the actual number, which is a little bit, that's probably about right. Uh, if you have a real SSD, you probably would use that much space from the four terabytes just for formatting and stuff like that. Um, but this is not that. So how is it that a little micro SD card can be a four terabyte card? It, it can't. Okay, Again, it can't. There's just, it's not possible unless you're paying huge sums of money. And obviously, they didn't pay huge sums of money. So here's what they do. They, number one, they manipulate the information about the card that's stored on the card so that it says it's a four terabyte card um, SSD for everybody who doesn't bother to open up the uh, container or enclosure. But it's not. It's, it, it could be 16 gigabytes. Eh, who knows? It could be four gigabytes. I don't know how many gigabytes it really is. And I, I don't, it doesn't even matter. They probably bought the cheapest one they could possibly find. But the other thing that they did is the way this card works is that when it's writing data to the card, it is overwriting the data it already put on. So whereas you think you're putting four terabytes of data on here, you're not. So if this is a 64 gigabyte card, you're, when it gets to 64, well, whatever's left of the 64 after the formatting and stuff, when it gets to the maximum that is actually available on here, it starts back at the beginning overwriting what it already saved. And you'll just keep on doing that until you think there's four terabytes on there. And you'll see a little, it's got a directory, so you can see the files that were written on it, but it's not legit. So whenever you see a situation like this where something is being sold for a price that is just unbelievable, if it seems too good to be true, it is, okay? Now, if you ever, the reason I bought this, one, was I wanted to share this. This is not anything new. This scam has been going around for many years now. But I knew that once I reported this to Tamu, that they would give me my money back. Because Tamu, at this point at least, is still trying to make customers happy even though they allow, they allow a lot of scams on their platform. They allow to, a lot of vendors who have misleading listings where you think, you know, you, you, you start searching for computer uh, cases and it'll bring up fans that are in cases. And it looks like you're getting the whole computer. And you're like, what? Or you, it'll, you, you search for uh, a cooler and it'll be in the case and you're like, well, I... So it sometimes is really hard to tell, even when you read, and you have to look at all the details very, very carefully to determine what it is you're actually going to get. And sometimes you can't. Like um, when I complained to Tamu about this thing, um, <laughs> there was a another item that I wanted to buy. Not uh, it is for testing. It's a thermal imager, and the listing said it was one model number, which is the NF526E from Noyafa, which is a good one. And most of the information on the listing said that. However, in certain places in the listing, it was said it was the NF524, which is vastly inferior to the uh, NF526E. And I had to ask, I said, well, which one is it? And at first, 
the person I was talking to said, well, it's the 526E. And I said, well, but why does it say 524? And she said, well, now I'm not sure. So I said, would you please contact Nuyafa and find out? Because I had already tried to contact Nuyafa, and they had not contacted me back. And it was being sold by Nuyafa, or pre, uh, uh, according to Temu's website, it looked like it was being sold by Nuyafa. And... I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what it was, who was selling it, legitimately selling it. Um, but you know, it says Noyafa Monopoly <laughs> is the the seller. Uh, business name Yongzhou Xin Xinwo Fang Zhou Dian Zikeji. Um, okay. <laughs> so is it Noyafa? Or is it somebody else? I don't know. Anyways, so there's a lot of problems. There are a lot of scams. There are a lot of things where they say, oh, it's this, but you get something else. Like um, you buy jewels that say they're natural and they're synthetic. You buy jewels that they say that they're this and they turn out to be made of plastic or glass or something like that. You have to be really, really careful to look very care uh, closely at the listing to see what, to try and figure out what you're actually getting, but you won't really know until you receive it. But anyways, I digress. So if you ever find one that's really, really low being sold, it's 99% of the time is going to be this. Now, it could actually be that they got some old RAM or they got some old, um, but RAM wouldn't be really easy. It would be better if they got like a really old SSD that was a really low um, storage space and use that instead. But this is very simple for them to do. And uh, obviously we can see that somebody's making the cards to help the, the scammers. Just wherever you're going to buy it, if you want to take the risk and lose your money, potentially, make sure that the, the website that you're on actually will refund your money if you get ripped off. You know, some places, they don't care. And other places do. And I, I wish I could say that Amazon cares, but I was talking to somebody just the other day, uh, and they were telling me about bad experiences they've and changes that have happened with Amazon's policies and stuff, so it doesn't sound so good on Amazon anymore. But I don't know. Um, I've never When I used to buy from Amazon, which I haven't done for over a year, um, except for one gift that I couldn't get somewhere else for my sister, <coughs> and... Uh, buying on new egg i've never really had much trouble with returns and stuff so but now you know if you didn't already and hopefully you'll not make the mistake that a lot of people make because it really is very frustrating to end up getting ripped off like that you know i got my money back so it's no big deal to me but yeah, it's 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 so so very frustrating. And the company that sold this is called Coke Bell Factory, K O C B E L L E Factory. So, one thing I would suggest, and uh, this is based on my own experience and knowledge, uh, and also from talking to other people and hearing from other people, if you're gonna buy something. On even on major websites like Amazon and Newegg, let alone Wish and Alibaba, AliExpress, and Temu, make sure you can get refunds uh, and and or returns. And if there's a return, that they are going to pay for it, because it's really frustrating when you have to pay to ship it back, especially if it's got to be shipped to China. Because for them to ship to, from China to here is cheap. For us to ship it from here to back to China is expensive um, second thing I would do is write down what's required from the thing you want so like if you're going to buy a new part for your computer and you have a choice of original parts or third party parts and you happen to know that the market in the in the market for third party parts that you like what you need there are a lot of bad ones that that don't last a long time or they're fraudulent or whatever 
So then you want to only look for our original parts. So then you're going to be searched. You're going to want to write down O E M because OEM original equipment manufacturer will help you to avoid getting the wrong ones. But be careful because a lot of these websites, even though they will list the OEM ones, they will also list non OEM ones. And this has happened to me a couple of times at least where I thought I was looking at OEM ones and I ended up buying something that was not actually OEM and it turned out to be crap, just like the reviews had said. Um, so be very careful about that and write down any other facts that these are the minimum that you will, that you need, not that you will accept, but that you will need and, and also write down what ideally you want um, to help to keep you focused and not get distracted by other things that seem nice but are missing something because if you've got a if, if your list is one or two things that's not a big deal but when you're looking at a half a dozen a dozen uh, different factors or, or um, qualifications or requirements or whatever you want to say um, it, it's easy to, to forget and yeah so that's it from me thing I hope that this has helped you thanks for watching and have a great day need to ask for your help. I'm sorry. Um, on December 11th, 2024, Amazon terminated me and used false accusations against me. And um, on December 17th, I had my left shoulder operated on. I'm getting a lot better. I can do some things with my hand but and my arm, but uh, it's still pretty limited. If you could please help me out by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, and turning on notifications for my channels, that would really help. If you want to help me financially and you can't afford to, you can go to my Glenn's Fast Reviews and you can do a super thanks as a donation there. If you want to donate on a monthly basis, you can become a member there. And or you can go to patreon.com slash G-L-E-N-N-M-I-I. -I. Um, so thank you for that. Also, I'd like to say thank you to bleepingcomputer.com for allowing me to post uh, messages on their forum about my videos. Thank you so much. And don't forget to visit them. They offer a lot of wonderful resources for people who are using computers. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.